Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through the basics of how to add an image as well as a PDF to your mobile application in AppGyver. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with AppGyver, it's a great platform to build a mobile application for Android and iOS and even web apps completely free without needing to know any code. As long as you're making 10 million or less in revenue, you can check the pricing page on their website to confirm that. Now, I'm gonna be walking you through how to add an image by uploading it, also how to use an image through the URL, and then lastly, how to use a PDF through the URL and render that in your application. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so we're gonna jump straight in. We have a sample application pulled up here, and it is just a blank page. So we will start off by just dragging over a title, and we'll just say something like, see the image and PDF. And then we are going to drag over this image component. This is installed by default. So this will already be in your basic component section. Now from here, you can click on the source here, which is a static image. So you'll see that if you go over here to the right, it gives you the option to upload. Now you have a couple of choices for your source. You can choose a data variable, and then you could put in, for example, a URL that's stored in Firebase. So you could change it out over time, or you could choose a formula and then you would basically just put in quotes, whatever the actual, um, like the URL would be. So an example of doing this is we're going to upload an image here. So if you go to Firebase and go to the storage section, and then we can upload my logo, for example. And then once this has uploaded, you'll see it'll tell you over here, the last date modified. We can click on this logo and you'll see right here, there's a name. Now, if you right click here, you can actually click copy link address because this is stored on the internet here. So you'll see this, um, this essentially the URL. So we're just going to grab that and we're gonna come over here and we'll just hit control A, type in a quote, control V, paste it in and close the quote. Should be con uh, command V on a Mac or something along those lines. So basically we're just pasting it. And then you'll see it'll load the image right here. So we've effectively added the image. It's not built into the application, so they will need, users will need internet to actually access this. So that is option one. So you can add files or you could find files anywhere on the internet. Just make sure you're following any pertinent copyright or uh, related laws related to that image. Um, so if you're using other people's content, make sure you have proper permissions to do so. Now, the next option, we can bring the image over and you'll see we can use this image assets. So in the source, instead of choosing formula, we would choose static image and then we would click right here and we'll click upload file. And here we can go up to the desktop and choose the image and then the image will load here. Now, there are a couple of things to consider. So you may be wondering what are the benefits to having one as opposed to the other? Well, it's going to load a lot quicker if you have this image built into the application and you don't need internet for this to load. So if I wanted to have a sign on page or, or something like that, and I wanted it to load very, very quickly, then it is a great option to have this set up this way. Now, a couple of things to consider as far as pulling images from the internet is if you want to keep your application small. So adding in a bunch of high quality images is going to massively increase the size of your mobile application and could potentially push it over the limit to enable you to actually get it in Google Play or the Apple App Store. So users aren't going to be downloading an app if there are hundreds of high def vid uh, images a, because of storage, but B, because it may not even be something that you can submit to the app stores. So make sure you're considering the overall app size. When you build your application in AppGyver, so when you click on launch, distribute, and you go to the build services, you can see the app size once you've created it and published it, and you can check the local store policies to see how big or what's the max size for an app. So. Those are the two basic ways to upload your images. And the cool thing about uploading it into the app is it will now be accessible right here. So you can quickly use this when, um, you know, working within that app on other pages. Another final thing to consider, if you're going to use this option and actually uh, use this static image option, one thing to consider is try to reduce the size of your image if possible. Just again, make sure that you try it on different device types so that you're not going to have like a grainier pixelated image or something like that. 
All right, so that covers the basics of images. Next, we're going to cover PDFs. So we're going to go to the component market, and then you're going to go to the front end logic tab, and we're going to type in PDF. You'll see there's a preview PDF option here, so you'll click that. I've already downloaded it, but you're just going to click on the install button. Should take a second, and you'll notice it doesn't show up in this installed section over here. This actually shows up down here in the logic section. So when you bring up logic, it'll default to this core page. You just go over to installed, bring this over, and basically you decide when you want this preview to appear. So if I want to do something a little creative, maybe I want to show the PDF when you click on the button. So we'll click preview PDF and we will connect this. And then for the preview, it's going to say file to preview. And you'll if you hover over here, you'll see absolute local file system path or external URL. So I'm going to upload this PDF that I made that's a sample to file or uh, Firebase. So a couple of things to consider here is <clears throat> this is a very small PDF and it basically just says this is a test in the PDF itself. So there's really not much to it. So when you click on this, I'm not sure if it'll give us an accurate preview here, but you'll see it just says this is a test PDF. So what we're going to do is we will right click here and we will copy the link address and then we'll go over here and we will use a formula and we will just type in the URL. We'll click save and save. And now we're gonna preview this. So we're gonna go to launch, preview, open app preview portal. And we are using this formulas app here. So let me just double check and make sure. So we are on the phone page. So this is the page we were on in the application. You'll see, see the image in PDF, and here's this button. When I click here, you'll see it opens up a new tab and shows this is a test PDF. So everything's functioning as intended. So you'll see again, if we go to the phone page, when I click the button, it's bringing up the PDF at that URL. Now, just to show you the image as well. So we are going to upload this image and we'll just click save. And then this page will refresh. So we're gonna go to the page now. So this is the web preview. So you'll see it's a very large image. And when we click on the button, the PDF loads in a new tab. So everything is functioning as expected. So I hope this walks you through the basics. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.